Hello and thank you for joining us on this special episode of MedWatch Today, where we're talking about the core of your central nervous system, the brain and spine. They play a crucial role in everything that you do, and when they're not working properly, the team at Community is ready to help you get them back online. Epilepsy is a brain disorder causing recurring unprovoked seizures, and it affects about 3.4 million people in the U.S. So when Robert Vogler was diagnosed with epilepsy at just 17 years old, his life changed dramatically. He went from being an active teenager to experiencing about 100 seizures per year, taking days to recover after each one, ultimately trying to navigate his new normal. I was supposed to go to Cal Poly. I'd have been accepted and then I've been blanking out and I did not know what was happening to where my parents kept me here for safety reasons. Shortly after his diagnosis, Robert and his family learned about an advanced epilepsy treatment called responsive neurostimulation or RNS. At the time, Robert wanted to try less invasive treatments, but fast forward nearly 20 years. Robert revisited the idea of RNS with Dr. Mark Krell, a neurosurgeon at Community Neurosciences Institute, who says the procedure is no longer as experimental as it once was. It's really come into its own since about 2017, and historically it's been done only at major academic centers like Stanford. I actually am fortunate to, to be one of the few surgeons that is allowed to do this surgery outside of a major academic center. Unlike other epilepsy treatments, RNS does not involve the removal of tissue from the brain, but instead a device is implanted in the area of the brain linked to seizure activity. I'm excited about it, it's how much has come along, and it sounds you know, great, and it's a possibility based off of the research we've done. Robert said there were a lot of factors he considered before deciding on RNS, but one was that he could stay here in Fresno for his recovery, which was important for him and his family. That brings me a lot of comfort because, because I have epilepsy and because I still get many seizures a year, I cannot drive. I have not driven for 15 years at least. So whenever I, if I had to go somewhere else, uh, my wife would have to drive me. So that means she has to take two or three days off of work and then it just becomes, it can be a big disruption in my family's life. And you can sometimes feel guilty about that. So it's great that I don't have to drive or I don't have to have people drive me at least three hours. The goal of RNS treatment for patients is living life with less seizures. Over a period of time, a uh, time being a year or more, it records the seizure activity, the electrical activity from the brain, and it learns how to respond to those seizures. And as it learns more and more about the seizure patterns, the seizures are treated by the stimulator. And in some cases, maybe even living life seizure free, something Robert has not experienced in a very long time. So if I can get seizure free within and even three years, that would be a tremendous accomplishment. Even being just half the amount of seizures would be great. Robert's surgery was the first performed here in Fresno. It took nearly four hours. So about a two centimeter incision. Uh, there will be two holes drilled in the back of his skull and the electrodes will pass through those holes uh, into the areas of his brain that are involved in his epilepsy. Dr. Corral says it will be some time before Robert starts to see any benefits from the surgery. I am realistic. I know that it won't be instant. And even when I talk to the doctor, he gives you realistic expectations. It has now been one month since Robert's RNS surgery. The first two weeks was the most difficult. The recovery process was difficult at first, but has gotten easier as time has gone by. They are, they're even shocked that I can move around after four weeks. Now that the device has been implanted in Robert's brain, it will record and collect data about his seizures. Right now it is only recording. It is not doing anything to uh, combat the seizures. So I would not expect there to be any difference. Robert is hopeful for his future and thankful for the advanced care close to home. That is ultimately the vision of the Community Neurosciences Institute is uh, we're, we're trying to build a center, a referral center here, a destination center uh, to offer world-class care at home. To learn more about the Community Neurosciences Institute and RNS treatment, visit communityhealthpartners.org slash neurosciences or call 22BRAIN.